Uh, so we have Dino. He's a three-year-old male, intact French bulldog. He had presented to us for acutely going down in his rear limbs. So he was paralyzed and he had absent feeling to both of his rear limbs. Um, it was from a disc herniation, which we diagnosed with an MRI. And then he did get a hemilaminectomy to decompress the spinal cord. It has been about two weeks since his surgery. Um, about 50% will regain feeling and be able to walk again. Um, but he's comfortable, he's otherwise doing well. So from here, we're going to continue the strict crate rest. Um, we put them through essentially activity restriction and we'll go over that with the owners today. And then we'll see him back in about four weeks um, to reassess his progress at that time. So we're checking in Sophia. She's a five-year-old female spade dachshund presenting for a one-week history of difficulty with her rear limbs. Um, her examination today, she could get up and take a couple of steps, um, but was unable to walk without support. Um, her exam localized to a problem in her spinal cord. Um, most likely a disc herniation given her breed and age and history, but still could be other things. So we're checking her in. We're gonna do an MRI of her back. Um, and then if warranted, we'll proceed with surgery, which would most likely be a hemilaminectomy today. Buddy is about a two-year-old uh, male in intact chihuahua that we saw for um, head trauma. He'd fell from out of waist height onto concrete flooring. Um, he'd been hospitalized on an ER before he transferred over here. Um, they didn't go forward with imaging, but x-rays had shown that he had a, a skull fracture. Um, he stayed with us for a couple of days and continued to improve. So when he first came in, very minimally responsive, unable to walk. Um, and after some supportive care and time, um, he's now walking, eating and drinking on his own. He's still very mentally inappropriate. Um, but we do anticipate since he's gotten so much better, he'll continue to get better. Um, the interesting part about his case is he had really low platelets when he was at the emergency room. Um, so we had 10,000, which is um, significantly decreased. Um, so we've been checking his platelets and making sure they don't drop again. And they so far have been going up, which is great to see. Perfect, so we'll finish up with imaging and then get her into surgery. Um, the surgery itself can take a few hours, so no news is good news over the next few hours. And I'll call you as soon as we're out of surgery, let you know how everything went. So Sophia, uh, her MRI showed that she had a very significant disc herniation at T11, T12, um, mostly to the right side. Um, so surgery was recommended given how affected she was on her exam and the level of compression that we saw on MRI. Um, so we did a hemilaminectomy between T11 and T12 on the right side. Everything went very well. Um, she's just in recovery currently. And we'll call the owners as soon as she wakes up and then um, she'll stay with us for a few days to monitor her progress. Bye, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.